we're going to compare two things, PRP and exosomes. First of all, let's define what they are. PRP is called platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma means you take your own blood, it's drawn out, and then the blood is separated. When the blood is separated, you're going to get platelet-rich plasma. So the platelet-rich plasma. What happens is when you inject these platelets, whether it's for hair or in the face, it releases these growth factors, these platelet activating factors that could potentially help your body um, heal in a way that's different. You know, and the, for hair, it can potentially stimulate growth of your hair. For the face, it can potentially stimulate more collagen. Um, the counter to this or other use of this is gonna be something like called exosomes. Exosomes come from another person. They come from outside the body, usually from a heavy, heavily screened individual. And exosomes are basically, when we have these two different cells, they send these little exosome messages back and forth. So we wanna know what the exosome, where it comes from. Is it coming from bone marrow? Is it coming from fat? Is it coming from where in the body? And depending on what these messages are and who it came from, it could definitely upregulate things. So for skin, that can be a good thing if it's coming from a youthful person trying to create more stem cells, um, more skin turnover, uh, more youthful effects. And same thing for hair. The hair has these little things called dermal papillae, and these growth factors can help those hairs tell them, hey, guess what, don't die, stay around. What do I think is better? I think for hair, I tend to be biased with exosomes. It hurts less. Um, you don't have to worry about getting an extra stick somewhere from drawing um, um, from your veins, and it tends to be more effective. I don't think it's as effective as people think it is. There's some examples on um, of patients without any hair, and they're coming back with, I guess, hair like mine, um, and it's not gonna happen. Uh, but you can get some hair growth with that. And again, if you're thinning in your crown, thinning on the top of your hair, um, male or female, I think that's a great uh, way of treating it. For the face, um, I think I still am going to be biased towards exosomes. I think patients with lasers can heal a little bit faster with exosomes than they can with PRP. And again, there's a little bit more of a stem cell effect, um, in a, but it really depends on what exosomes you're using. Uh, PRP for hair is okay but most patients need to get four or five PRPs to equal one exosome. And I think same thing with the face. If you normally heal 14 days with a laser, exosomes might cut down, down to two days. PRP might cut that down to three days or four days. 